David Fincher's classic thriller 7 is rumored for 4K. Paramount announces a 4K standard slipcover edition of Event Horizon to come out in January of 2023. Criterion announces their new February slate, including Days the Confused on 4K. Could Disney possibly be releasing the straight to streaming Hocus Pocus 2 on 4K physical? And get off my steelbook. Sony announces some fire steelbooks for Air Force One and Mask of Zorro to come out in March of 2023. All this and more in the latest physical media report. Stay tuned. What is up everybody and welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. I am Ken and today guys we are here for the Physical Media Report episode 135. That is right guys, your weekly dose of physical media goodness where we talk about everything new and exciting in the world of Blu-ray and 4K and man have we got some exciting stuff uh, to cover here today. So many so many things going on in the world of physical media. We're going to run down some rumors. We're going to run down some announcements. We're going to run down the deals. So many deals going on right now, guys. I actually did a video this morning, so go check that out, discussing all the Black Friday deals, but there's even more to talk about um, in this episode today. And then we're going to talk about what is new this week. There's a lot of cool stuff coming out this week. But before we get into it, guys, look, the most important thing that you all can do if you're watching this video and you haven't yet subscribed to the channel is hit the subscribe button. I talk about physical media, Blu-rays and 4Ks, physical media, owning the movies that you love, all that stuff there behind me. So if you like that kind of stuff, guys, if you're into that kind of thing, hit the subscribe button. You will enjoy this channel. We do videos every single day. I promise you'll enjoy it. So hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. Hitting the like button is very underrated. And then leave me a comment down below, guys, of everything that we discuss here today. And again, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. What are you the most excited about? What are you the most amped up for? And I love to say this, and I know you guys love it too. What gets your juices flowing the most? Let me know in that comment section below. Your turkey juice is flowing the most. You know, it is Thanksgiving this week, so what gets your turkey juices flowing the most? Does that, does that sound disgusting? Let me know on that. I, I don't know anymore, guys. Look, the turkey, the turkey's flowing this week. The juices, the gravy, whatever gets you flowing. Let me know in the comment section below and then turn on the bell notifications for all future videos. So let's get right into the rumors, guys. And most of these rumors are brought to us by the Disc Father on Instagram. I will link his page down below. But let's talk about Hocus Pocus 2 coming to 4K from Disney. So no official release date on this. I don't even know if this has been confirmed to happen. But apparently there is a rumor floating around that we could be getting Hocus Pocus 2 on 4K. And I would say that this... It's probably pretty likely to happen. We do have the first film on 4K. I know this was a Disney Plus exclusive, but also there have been exclusives to Disney Plus in the past, some Pixar films that have come to physical media, like Luca, like Turning Red. I'm pretty sure both of those were exclusive to Disney Plus when they came out. Um, and, and then they came out on physical media. So I think that this is probably going to happen. Hocus Pocus is a big franchise and Disney probably feels like they can get, they can make a good amount of money off of this coming out on 4k or coming out on Blu-ray coming out physically. So I feel like Disney probably will do Hocus Pocus 2 on 4k at some point. Now I do think they'll give it some time. They'll probably let the Hocus Pocus 2 play on streaming for maybe six months, maybe nine months before they actually release it physically. Who knows? Maybe next March. I think by next March, by next April, we could probably be seeing uh, Hocus Pocus focus too on 4k but again i didn't watch this movie i actually canceled my disney plus like two months ago i just there's just nothing on it that really interests me anymore i'm not into the marvel and star wars stuff as much as i used to so i went and canceled disney plus and i canceled it like right before hocus pocus 2 came out and i actually did want to watch it um, so I am kind of looking forward to this coming out on 4K and actually getting to own it physically and get to watch it. I've heard kind of mixed things about it, but I did want to watch it because I love the first one so much. But let me know if you're going to buy Hocus Pocus 2 on Blu-ray or 4K if it comes out, if you're excited for it, in the comments section below. Now let's move on to the next one. This is one that I know for a fact a lot of people are going to be super excited for. But David Fincher 7, the 1995 crime thriller starring Morgan Freeman and Brad Pitt and Kevin Spacey could be coming to 4K sometime in 2023 from Warner Brothers. So this is not tied to any kind of anniversary or anything. It'll be like I think the 28th anniversary of the film. But look, we got to talk about this because this is significant because David Fincher doesn't have a lot of his films out on 4K. Right now, he's only got The Social Network, and that was a part of the Columbia Classic set volume two. So he has no standalone uh, 4Ks out. And I know a lot of people would love a lot of David Fincher films on 4K. We got... Gone Girl needing to come to 4K. Fight Club is a huge one that if it came to 4K, people would lose their minds. 
It, it just a lot of stuff. Zodiac, a lot of people will love to come out on 4K. The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, like Criterion, may, may do that on 4K at some point. A lot of people want David Fincher films on 4K, and I'd say at the top of the list, up there with Fight Club, would be 7 uh, coming out on 4K. This movie would look fantastic on 4K. And this definitely makes me super excited. Can you imagine that? See, what's in the box in 4K? It would be absolutely uh, fantastic. So yeah, I would absolutely lose my mind when this gets announced. I know a lot of people would be super excited for it as well. I love Seven. It's a great movie, and I think it's a great choice. Just, just think about that for a second. Like, set, we have set, we don't have Seven on 4K. We don't have Fight Club on 4K. Like, these are some of the most like revered films in the film community. Just so many movies, guys, to get excited about potentially coming to 4K in the future. Like, we don't have seven. Just think about that for a second. We don't have seven on 4K. That's ridiculous. We need it on 4K. So Warner Brothers, come through for us in 2023 and give us seven on 4K. I'm definitely super excited about it. But again, that is just a rumor that is not confirmed at all. But again, something to get excited for in 2023 for sure. Now let's go ahead and jump into the announcements, guys. And this is stuff that has been announced that will be coming out within the next couple of months or so. So Event Horizon, we got a steelbook for that. We got a 4K steelbook back in August. That went out of stock. I'm not 100% sure if it's still out of stock. I believe it is. But Paramount is putting that out again with a standalone slipcover version on January the 31st of 2023. We got a lot of 2023 announcements in here again because we're getting towards the end of the year, but this will be $19.99. So I know a lot of people were disappointed that they missed out on that Steelbook version. So I hope at some point Paramount reissues that and puts that back out because uh, that was a really awesome steelbook. But I will say the slip cover, the artwork on this slip cover for Event Horizon with the skull and the space is awesome and I will absolutely probably double dip. I'll triple dip because I got that Screen Factory set, but I love Event Horizon. I've been watching this movie since I was a kid. I saw that movie in the theater. So I'm super excited to, I guess, triple dip and grab this 4K standalone slipcover. But the one thing I have to say is I'm getting, I'm really getting tired of this whole like slipcover steelbook game. Like if you're gonna put this stuff out on 4K, you need to release it at the same time. I'm a little bit more forgiving, like if you do a standard slipcover version and then later on down the line you do a steelbook, that's okay to me because again, you're seeing how well that slipcover performs and then maybe you'll do a steelbook for it based on the sales. But to do it backwards like that, do a steelbook and then sell out and then build up the demand and then do the slipcover, I don't know. There's just something shady about that to me. And then you're forcing people to pay uh, you know, higher prices for the steelbook instead of just make, giving them the option to pay less uh, for the slipcover. So that kind of stuff gets on my nerves when they do the steelbooks and then months down the line, they decide to do a slipcover. I would, I'll fully explicitly, even though this is Sony I'm talking about, I fully expect for a Fright Night 4K with a slipcover to be coming out sometime in 2023 because they released that that steelbook version of that. And we got more Sony steelbooks to talk about here in a second where they've done it, they did the backwards thing. So it's just very strange to me. If you're going to do it like do them both at once i don't know it just doesn't i again i know there's cost involved and you have to see how something performs but it's just them it's just little things that gets on my nerves and what i believe like drives people away uh from physical media rather than bringing them in but anyway i want to know your thoughts down in the comment section below are you excited for event horizon to get a 4k slip cover did you buy the steelbook will you be double dipping let me know in that comment section below now let's talk about these two steelbooks that were announced by sony and again both of these had standalone 4K releases, which again, like I said, I'm a little bit more forgiving on this than I am the reverse, but Air Force One is getting a 4K steelbook from Sony on March the 7th for $27.99, and so is The Mask of Zorro coming out on 4K, uh, getting a 4K steelbook from Sony on March the 7th for $27.99. Now, both of these are gonna be uh, not new remasters, not new, re not new restorations, but they will both be adding Dolby Vision, and I believe Dolby Atmos as well. I am excited as hell for this because these, like these two movies are like two of my favorite movies from the 90s. Like these two movies, like in particular, like I grew up with both of these movies. They both came out around the same time. I think The Mask of Zorro was 1996, Air Force One was 1997. So I just remember growing up with these movies and loving these movies, watching them all the time. I had them both on 4K. Now I didn't get Air Force One with the slipcover. I missed out on that, but I got Mask of Zorro with the slipcover. That's an awesome slipcover that Sony did a couple of years ago. I love that slipcover. But I, I love both of the design work on these. Like Air Force One in particular, like they really went all out with the design on that one. I love the look of that steelbook. So I will 
absolutely be picking up that Air Force One 4K Steelbook, even though I already have the 4K. But again, it's, it adds in Dolby Vision, so it's going to look uh, better. You're going to have more range in the colors um, on the transfer. So I will absolutely be picking up Air Force One on 4K. The Mask of Zorro on 4K, I love the design on that. It's a little bit more traditional, a little bit more of that traditional uh, Mask of Zorro artwork. But I just love both of these films. I will absolutely be double dip. We're talking about a lot of like reissues and double dipping today here on the Physical Media Report, I know, but these both look like awesome still books and I cannot wait uh, to own both of them. We also had the Green Knight getting a 4K A24 exclusive. Now, this was just announced this morning. We're going to be getting an exclusive 62 page interior booklet in this set. And it's this big, nice set. And I, can't, I couldn't make out like if this was the same size as like the Lamb 4K edition we got earlier this year or if it was the same size as the Midsummer Edition. I, I th I'm leaning more towards the Midsummer. It looks a little larger, kind of like that Midsummer Edition that came out a couple of, couple of years ago. Um, but you're also going to be getting a short film directed by David Lowry in the set as well, uh, plus some new special features. And this is on A24's uh, website. So uh, to pre-order right now, this was just announced this morning. The 4K is $47 and the standard is $45. And this will ship on November the 30th. Like I said, you can pre-order this right now and it'll ship on November the 30th. A24 always has like a really quick turnaround from their announcements to when they actually ship to you. Like they will announce something and it comes out next week. So go ahead and pre-order it. Um, I don't know if I'll get this. I like the Green Knight. I have it on 4K. I don't know if I need this edition. Like I, I like the Green Knight. I did. I just don't know if I liked it enough uh, to get this edition. But if you're a big time fan of the film, like this is definitely a really cool uh, exclusive collectible set coming out for sure. We also got the Criterion February 2023 announcements that came out this past week. Now, I did an entire video um, on the channel talking about all these announcements. We have uh, Dazed and Confused coming out on 4K, getting a new restoration supervised by Richard Linklater himself. Now, this is the director's cut of the film, and we're also getting Dolby Vision and HDR in this. This is supposed to be coming out on February the 21st. So this is the big criterion announcement. Like, I am really looking forward to seeing Dazed and Confused in 4K. I think it's going to look incredible. And it's definitely cool we're getting the Dolby Vision and the HDR in this release. I know a lot of people were super critical of the Night of the Living Dead release, not adding in the HDR or the Dolby Vision. Uh, so hopefully... Hopefully Criterion took note of that and going forward, they're not going to do too many of their releases uh, without uh, Dolby Vision HDR, at least HDR, because I think that's a big turnoff for a lot of physical media fans for sure. Uh, the Three Colors Trilogy was announced in 4K, new restorations with Dolby Vision HDR as well, and that comes out on February the 7th. So this is the first time... Um, like Criterion has released a box set of a 4K box set uh, in the Criterion collection. So definitely pretty cool there. Romeo and Juliet was announced for Blu-ray and this has a new 4K scan that's coming out on February the 14th. Uh, two films by Marguerite. Duras, did I say it somewhat correct? Uh, India Song and Baxter Vera Baxter. Those are both Blu-rays and they come out in a set on February the 28th. And then you got Hollywood Shuffle coming out on Blu-ray. A new 4K scan coming out on February uh, the 28th. So that's all the criteria in February 2023 announcements. So definitely some exciting stuff in there. I'm definitely the most excited for Days and Confused on 4K, but also Romeo and Juliet and Hollywood Shuffle. I might, I might pick up as well because both of those look like some interesting uh, titles. The Fright Partners is getting a 4K, guys, but not domestically, not yet. It's coming out from Turbine Media on December the 2nd, and it's available for pre-order. Now, it's a big box set release with tons of art cards and booklets. Now, I will say, if you order this, navigating the Turbine Media like website is a, has always been a little strange for me. I can't quite figure it out. I think I tried to get the Texas Chainsaw Massacre on there, and I just failed. Um, because I'm just not very smart. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, that comes out on December the 2nd. So what I will say, though, guys, this has a huge booklet that's almost, I think it's like 150 pages or something, but it's all in German. So if you're, you know, in the U.S., if you don't speak German, like, yeah, that'll be cool to have, but you're not exactly going to be able to read it unless you can read in German. Um, so that's worth noting. But the set looks awesome. I love the Frighteners. I've really been debating on getting this, but I think... I think I'm going to hold out and hope that we get a 4K domestically uh, sometime within the next year. But it's definitely a cool set. If you guys are big into collecting uh, like overseas releases and like Zavi exclusives and, and like all this kind of turbine media, 
uh, the Studio Canal stuff, like all that kind of stuff. If you're big into collecting that, this is definitely going to be a really awesome collector set to add to your collection for sure. We also got a new Dario Argento film on 4K, Four Flies on Gray Velvet coming out on 4K from Severin. And this is a new 4K restoration of the original camera negative, both for the director's cut and the English language version as well. So you're going to be getting two cuts in this, and then they're both going to be in 4K. And they're both going to be restored with Dolby Vision and HDR and that's gonna be available on Black Friday. So yeah, definitely cool. Always cool to have more Dario Argento on 4K. And I've actually, I like to consider myself pretty well versed in Dario Argento's filmography. I've seen a lot of his stuff, but I've actually never heard of this movie. So that's cool. And we got more Disney physical media announcements, guys. We thought Disney wasn't gonna put out movies on Blu-ray and now all of a sudden they are for some movies. Uh, so the Banshees of Inarishin, uh, it's coming out on Blu-ray, and I'm sure I butchered that, but this is a new film starring Colin Farrell. That's coming out on Blu-ray from Searchlight Pictures on December the 20th. So I feel like this is a film that's going to make some kind of Oscar run, so that's probably why they're putting out on Blu-ray. Same with Amsterdam. Uh, but again, this is coming out from Searchlight Pictures on December the 20th. This, I've actually heard really great things about this movie. I've seen several people give this like a four and a half and a five star. So I'm actually really interested in checking out this movie. Uh, definitely more so than Amsterdam, which I did not hear great things about. But I'm, I'm kind of excited for this one to come out. But again, like why, why are you guys discriminating? Like put all of your movies out on Blu-ray. Why is Barbarian not coming to Blu-ray? Yes, it may have a window, the exclusive window with HBO Max or something. I don't know. Maybe they'll put it out early next year. But it's just ridiculous to me. Like, don't pick and choose. Put all of your stuff, especially if it's in theaters, out on physical media, Disney. Come on. That's why it's so frustrating with Disney sometimes. Hopefully, they'll, hopefully maybe they'll, they'll get their physical media back on track now that we have a new CEO. Bob Iger's back. Everybody's excited about that. Hopefully, that, that trickles down to some physical media. We start, we stop getting these stupid, like, decisions of what to release when and how. And just give us our movies on physical media, guys. We want it. Uh, we crave it. But the Banshees of, and, and, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. The Banshees of Inarishin, that's probably wrong, uh, is coming out from Searchlight Pictures on December the 20th. Uh, Pray for the Devil on 4K, guys, is coming out from Lionsgate on December the 13th. That looks like an incredibly generic exorcism type movie. These, these are the type of movies right here that just made me lose my love for horror. Like I remember like in the 2000s and the early 2010s. It wasn't until The Conjuring. I remember I rolled my eyes in The Conjuring trailer because of movies like this. And now it feels like they're making a resurgence, but I don't know, maybe it's good. I'll check it out. Pray for the Devil on 4K coming out from Lionsgate on December the 13th. And we got an RIPD. I know you guys are super excited for the RIPD uh, 4K that's coming out. The RIPD 4K Zavi exclusive Steelbooks coming out on December the 5th. And it's available to pre-order right now for $36.99. It's actually a pretty cool looking Steelbook, but again, RIPD. Um, on 4K. Has that already come out? I feel like I might have already announced that to come out. But anyway, you're getting the exclusive Steelbook on December the 5th, the Zavi exclusive. So definitely get on uh, the Zavi website to uh, pre-order that if you haven't already. And with that, guys, let's go ahead and jump into these deals. We got quite a bit of deals to cover here today. Now, I did an entire video, like I said earlier, covering all of the, just getting into the nitty gritty of all these sales and deals. So I'll, I'll link that up here somewhere. Or I'll try to link that up there somewhere. But uh, Barnes & Noble, of course, is still doing the Criterion sale. We got the Kino Lorber November, uh, Noir Vember. Is that Noir Vember uh, sale going on right now as well. They're doing a sale on some of their Noir films. Uh, Target has a buy two, get one right now. Again, I covered that this morning in my video. Um, Adam's Family on 4K is $7.99. I want to talk about that sale again because that's a great 4K and that's a great deal for that 4K. Animal House on 4K is 11 bucks. Transformers 5 movie collection. If you want to own the Transformers movies on 4K and you don't want to pay that much money, this is probably your best bet. $34.42. The Godzilla Criterion, guys, is $110. Now, in the Criterion Barnes and Noble sale, it's 125. So it is actually cheaper on Amazon right now for that Godzilla Criterion set. 110 bucks. Star Trek 4 movie collection is $42 right now. Contractors on 4K is $7.99 and the Mad Max 4Ks are $39.99. So a lot of great deals going on right now, guys. I just kind of highlighted the just kind of highlighted the highlights. Is that a thing? Highlighting the highlights is what I just did. Uh, but yeah, tons of deals going on right now, guys. Again, check my video out from earlier today. Do some browsing on Amazon, Best Buy, Target. Find yourself some deals because there's a lot of them uh, going on. Groove as well. Check out Groove as well. Uh, a lot of great deals going on right now. Now let's go ahead and get into what is new this week, guys, because there's a lot of exciting stuff coming out this month. Now we are kind of winding down November, but November has honestly 
been a really great month for physical media. There's just been tons of incredible releases come out this month. Just so many. It's, it's been very difficult for me to keep up with, but hopefully I got more reviews uh, coming for you guys soon. But I did do a review of Planes, Trains, and Automobiles on 4K coming out from Paramount for $21.99. Now that hits store shelves tomorrow. Definitely, guys, if you're on the fence about picking this up, go check out my review of Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. I kind of break it all down, uh, just everything in that release and if it's worth picking up for you guys. So definitely go watch that review before you pick up that release tomorrow. I'll try to link that somewhere. Maybe I'll have to link it down below. We also have Wally -E coming out tomorrow, guys, on 4K from the Criterion Collection. Wally, -E, the big Disney release coming out from the Criterion Collection for $24.99. Just throw all of your stuff over to the Criterion Collection, Disney, uh, or Kino, or somebody. Just take it, just throw it all over there, and then you all don't have to worry about it anymore. You can just focus on Disney+. Plus. Just do that. Give me Con Air from the Criterion Collection on 4K. But anyway, Wally -E on 4K, guys. I am not the biggest fan of Wally, -E, but I'm absolutely gonna support this because I want more Disney titles, more Disney catalog titles to come over to the Criterion Collection or other boutique labels. I'm a fan of the precedent that this sets going forward and I wanna support it. So Wally's -E coming out on 4K uh, from Criterion for $24.99. I've heard great things about this, guys, already. I've heard it looks fantastic, so I'm super excited to dig into it. We also got Malcolm X coming out on 4K, guys, from the Criterion Collection for $24.99. And again, these are the sale prices because we're in the middle of Barnes & Noble sale now. When December hits, these will go back up to 30 $34.99 these 4Ks, but it is also coming out on Blu-ray for $19.99. So I'm very excited for Malcolm X. Like I feel like this movie's gonna look fantastic. Spike Lee film. Now you can get uh, some that are signed by Spike Lee himself. I think he had to get on the actual Criterion website. I don't know if any of those are left or not, but I saw him post that up and I've seen some people share it. And it looks like a super cool uh, you know, thing to have him sign your criterion for sure. And again, it's the 30th anniversary of this movie, I think tomorrow actually. So super cool. And I'm super excited for Malcolm X on 4K, guys. I cannot wait. And it's a digi pack, and so is Wally. And I just cannot wait to have more criterion uh, digi packs in the collection. High Plains Drifter comes out on 4K, a Clint Eastwood Western classic uh, from Kino Lover for $26.99. Now, I remember when this was announced, I think like a year and a half ago. Uh, so I know a lot of people are really excited to finally get this one on 4K. Now, one that I'm super excited about. This one's been rumored for like two years, it feels like, but Mystery Men is finally coming out on 4K from Kino Lorber for $26.99. Definitely expect a review for this one at some point on the channel because this is a, a movie from my childhood that I love. So Mystery Men on 4K, I'm super excited about. We also have The Company of Wolves on 4K coming out from Screen Factory for $29.99. This is one I'm very excited for as well. This is a movie that I have not seen. I am getting this in this week, so I think I'm probably going to be able to squeeze out a review for this one sometime this weekend, so definitely uh, look out for that one. Rollerball on 4K, guys, is coming out from Shout Factory for $27.99. We also have Shrek 2 coming out on 4K from Universal for $19.99, and we have the Sony Pictures Classics 30th Anniversary Collection 4K box set, including 11 films. I don't even have enough fingers to put that up. 11 films coming out in this set. Run Lola Run, Orlando, The Lost Children, The Celluloid Closet, SLC Punk. I know a lot of people are actually excited about the set just for that movie. The Devil's Backbone, Volver, uh, Sin... I can't pronounce it. Sinedoche, New York, uh, Still Alice, Call Me By Your Name, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, 11 films in this set coming out from Sony for $209.99. So very steep price for this, but it was like 300 when it was first announced, so it did go down significantly. Now, if you compare this to the Columbia Classic set, again, it does have five more movies coming out in 4K. It's really nice packaging with all these movies and slip boxes, so I think that that price is pretty uh, appropriate, but also I feel like this will go down in price, maybe like 180 within the next couple of months. So I'm going to hold out on it, but I do want to get this in the collection at some point for sure. We also have the Night Gallery Season 3 coming out from Kino Lover for $34.99. We have Puss in Boots coming out on 4K from Universal for $19.99. We have Peacemaker Season 1 coming out from Warner Brothers for $24.95. I feel like I've talked about Peacemaker coming out on Blu-ray for the longest time. Is this like a re-release or something? I don't know. I just feel like I've covered 
covered this before. IP Man 4K is coming out from Welgo USA for $15.99, and IP Man 2 is coming out on 4K from Welgo USA for $17.99. We also have the Blood Beast Terror coming out from Kino Lover for $16.59. We have Pennywise, the story of It 1990, which I'm actually really interested in getting because I love It 1990. Coming out from Cenodyne for $19.99. We also have Hatching coming out from IFC Films for $20.99. We have Bros coming out from Universal. This was just announced this past week and is coming out uh, tomorrow. And this is coming out for $34.98. Now I have to think that this price is going to go down by the time it hits online and in stores tomorrow because that's a pretty steep price uh, for a Blu-ray. That's not a 4K. That is a Blu-ray for $34.98. We also have Ski Patrol coming out from MVD Rewind for $17.99. We have Exiti. Hair extensions coming out from Media Blasters for $19.99. We also have A Kind of Loving coming out for Shop Factory for $22.99. We have $525.77 coming out from MBD Visual for $17.49. We have It Started in Naples coming out from Paramount for $17.99. We also have My Friend Irma coming out from Paramount for $17.99. And we also have Gambit coming out from Paramount for $17.99. We have Contraband coming out from Cauldron Films for $27.99. We have Murder in a Blue World coming out from Cauldron Films for $27.99. We have Justified, the complete series reissue. I guess it's already come out before. This is coming out from Sony for $160.99. We also have Panther coming out from MBD Visual for $17.99. And we have Hold Me Tight coming from Kino Lorber for $29.95, and The Good House is coming out from Lionsgate for $19.99. And with that, guys, we are done with this week's edition of The Physical... I almost knocked everything off my desk here, but we are done with this week's edition of The Physical Media Report. I hope you all enjoyed it. Episode 135. It is Thanksgiving this week, guys. So have a great Thanksgiving holiday if you live in the States. If you don't, I'm sorry, but I just had to th say Happy Thanksgiving. I know not everybody celebrates Thanksgiving, but, you know, Happy Holidays to everybody. I appreciate you guys watching this week's edition of The Physical Media Report. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bells, follow me on all my social media accounts down below, and we'll see you next time.